Greetings, YouTube. The Archmage, Archmage or Archmarge or Acmage, I can't quite tell, it's an odd spelling, um, asked me a question about crazy things I tried as a player that worked. And I thought of two um, while I was at work in the night. Oddly, both of them involved vampires, so I have no idea why. But the first was an adventure that uh, a friend of mine wanted to run, and he had never really had a great deal of experience as a GM. This was back in first edition. So essentially, we just kind of all grabbed some characters that we had that were roughly at the level he wanted to use, and threw a party together and had it. And essentially, it was just going to be a series of encounters. Again, just kind of a little play test more than anything. And... Uh, he, he apparently didn't didn't gauge things well as far as uh, the challenge rating would have been considered. I mean, they didn't, we didn't have the term real really challenge rating as an official bit of nomenclature back then, but he didn't judge it well. And he threw our little incipient party against a vampire. And the vampire was pretty much cleaning our clocks. And we threw everything we had at the vampire that could affect the vampire and we didn't take the vampire down. We hurt the vampire, but he was still standing, and we were out. We didn't have any spells left. I don't think any of the weapons we had at that time were going to be able to hurt him. We were out of options. I think half the group was already down, and I got desperate. So my, I'm thinking to myself, okay, what can I do here? What are vampires vulnerable to? So I thought, vampires are vulnerable to silver. So I tell the GM that I'm going to put some silver coins into my sling cup. And I whoosh, silver coins at the vampire. And I hit him. And the silver coins do damage because they're silver. And it pushes him below the hit point level where he turns into a gaseous cloud and begins to float away which gives us time to gather up, gather up our wounded and run for our lives. It shouldn't have worked, but it did. Um, <laughs> it was a desperate move. Hey, you know, but it functioned. The second was, we were in a, uh, a deep dungeon, and we had been underground for a while, and we had been fighting our way through a number of different encounters. And this is, you know, the classic old school first edition dungeon crawling. And doing, you know, we check with the ten foot pole, you know. We roll the die, the, the, the marbles across the floor to see if there's a slope. You know, that kind of thing. And we found ourselves in a battle with a vampire. And this time we were pretty well geared to the right level for the vampire in question. Unfortunately, he had had surprise on us. And he... He, we found ourselves like caught in the midst of the group. So it, it, it was, we couldn't do certain things because he was very close to us and he was essentially choking someone to death from behind. And so we were like, we were, we did not have the, the mobility that we needed to take this guy out. A lot of our spells were area effect, which we couldn't use at that time. So we were like, we we're desperate. Like, what are we going to do? So I'm like, again, thinking, what harms vampires? And I'm like, a stake. None of us had stakes with us. So I'm like, what's the door made out of? And the GM's like, oak. I said, awesome. So I take my sword and I hit the corner of the, do the door about this far in. Boom. <laughs> and I wedge off a splinter of oak. I then grab it. And then I roll to hit him in the back. Because technically, there is nothing saying you can't drive a stake through a vampire's heart through his spine. So, I get at everything I had. I succeed. I drive the spike, the, 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 the stake, into the vampire, rendering him uh, immobile, essentially. We then cut off his head, shoved wafers into his mouth and took the head with us. We were underground. We could not get to the surface to get his body into sunlight. We didn't even know what, day it, what time of day it was at that point. So we left the body where we had been and took the head with us. And I believe we chucked it into a midden at some point in the hopes of at least delaying his resurrection because we knew that we were not actually killing him. Um, 
But off the top of my head at the moment, those are the two wacky things that maybe shouldn't have worked, but did, that I uh, pulled off as a player long ago, back when I was younger, and, and I, I actually had hair. <laughs>